Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we t we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.7.5, require multi-factor authentication to establish non-local maintenance sessions via external network connections, and terminate such connections when non-local maintenance is complete. Now, at first, this looks like a requirement to just have multi-factor in place, but then when we really dive into the words, this is something that is talking specifically about non-local maintenance sessions, i.e. remote desktop access uh, or remote network access via VPN uh, when you're on the outside of the network connection, so external network connections, and then terminate those connections when non-local maintenance is complete. So again, as you're updating programs remotely or as you're remoting in to do system maintenance, we, you know, there's an, a direct requirement that multi-factor authentication has to be there. Now, what's the most practical instance of this? Uh, if you're using a remote desktop type of um, solution, you know, whether it's Microsoft RDP or whether it's, you know, uh, there's so many of them out there, you know, uh, VNC, R, you know, uh, uh, Splash Top, you name it, right? Take Control, lots and lots of solutions out there. What this control is saying is you've got to have multi-factor authentication in front or behind that login before they can actually access and begin doing those maintenance sessions. Why is this so important? Because getting in from outside to do maintenance is a necessity. We understand that. But if you're going to be getting in from outside, multi-factor authentication has to be part of the way you protect the network. So many ransomware attacks have happened through maintenance vectors, okay, especially coming in from the outside. So if I was giving a sample answer to this control, I'd say, hey, it's implemented. MFA is required to access remote access tools used to perform non-local maintenance. Maintenance sessions are terminated when maintenance activities are completed or upon the connection going idle or inactive for 180 minutes. So again, some specificity that we want to put into our control about how we're terminating uh, those maintenance sessions when they're complete. Again, in our case, in our answer, we have two ways. One, technician is going to obviously terminate it when they're done. Uh, they're trained to do that. They're expected to do that. And then there's a fail safe where, hey, look, that connection's not going to stay alive if it's idle for more than 180 minutes anyway. So, uh, you know, again, lots of really good safeguarding information. This is a total best practice. And I think it's very, very important to understand how to protect your system from being accessed from outside. And hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171 or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links that will make your life easy, I promise. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time of your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. And if you love the content we're putting out for you here, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash that subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to eventually get through. And hey, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.